Today, I'm taking control of the Spurs to try to finally win Harry Kane in the Premier League. So if you look at the team here, we're going to completely rebuild the team. But basically, I have to liquidate all of our assets. So there's like a ton of people down here. But I have a strategy for exactly how I'm going to rebuild them. And I'm going to go get everything put into place and then show you guys what the strategy is and then show you guys how the negotiations go and how everything went. So let's go. All right, I've done all of the preliminary stuff that I needed to do to get this rebuild going. So basically what I went in and did was I gave everyone a new contract that needed a new contract. And then I went in to everyone's development and switched them to the position that made them the highest overall or like the highest values. And then I'm going to sell everyone. I recalled everyone from loan and I'm just basically going to sell everyone but Sun and Harry Kane. And then the people who we have are on loan. Like I can't really get rid of them. Oh, and um, Romero. Romero is going to stay because we literally just signed him basically everyone else is on the chopping block we get rid of everyone else because my strategy for doing this is very 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 simple but i think it's a quite good one so if you come over to my transfer hub here with me you'll see that i've gone through every single team of the prem and i've picked out all of their best players and i'm basically just gonna try to poach their best players right and then if i can ship them off to a different league like the Bundesliga and then snatch up players that I want for our team. Because not only do we need to build up a really strong team to win the Prem, we also need to poach talent from other teams to make them weaker. My priorities are, um, first off, Holland. Holland is a demigod in FIFA. If you want to rebuild the team and you don't want to lose to Man City, get Holland off of Man City. He's a demigod. He touches the ball. He scores. Holland is my number one target to put in a strike partnership with Harry Kane. Um, and then from there, it's just wherever the best deal lies. Um, ideally, I would like to get Salah and Allison off of Liverpool because Liverpool could be a huge problem too. I would like to take Salah and ship him over to the Bundesliga for Jude. But we'll see how all this goes. Okay, transfer offers are starting to come in. So I'm gonna make our first couple of moves. I decided not to approach any of the players that I really, really want. Like Holland is at the top of my list um, until I get some more people sold off. Um, basically what we're waiting on is like uh, Parasic, for example, he's switching to a left mid. Um, so he'll be worth more money instead of a left wing back in theory, hopefully. Once I get all of them, like all of the people who are on two week schedules to switch over, I'm going to start selling them. And that's really what we're waiting on to start making big moves. Uh, but in terms of like smaller moves, I'm going to keep it super simple. We're probably going to wind up doing a 4 2 4 uh, just because I really want Holland and Harry Kane uh, to have a strike partnership. But I also want Sun to stay on the team. So we'll figure out what that looks like in a little bit. That's neither here nor there. That's not what's important. But I think our first signing is going to be a left back. So we're not going to do the three center back set up. I actually want to bring in Alejandro. This is my dog. I use him in like basically every single career mode thing that I do. He just gets really good really fast. He might not be the best pickup like right off the bat. Like he's only a 76, but the value that you're going to get from him, we might even be able to like hit a little player swap for him. Just somebody that we really don't care about just to get him off of our roster. Um, like, let's see, who can, who can we get rid of? What if we just try to get rid of, see, I think that we can get a better price for Lucas than here. So what if we got rid of Hugo? What if we got rid of Loris here? Cause I don't think we're going to get a very good price for him. We might get like 8 million. So like if I can throw him on here and get bald for 10 hopefully it's bald and not bald day or something crazy parasitch they want parasitch in six months they've gotten they're they're out of their minds um all right so i'm just gonna remove the exchange player um and just pay straight up like let's offer them like 16 8 and the reason why i'm saying that oh bet yeah sure you can have whatever sell on clause you want perfect um i think that we can sell the players for way more than what they're you know saying that they're gonna accept it for since i'm like going to them um obviously it's important sometimes like if you're like trying to swap out like big players like if we're trying to sign Mbappe, like i'm gonna have to put harry kane up but i think that it will be good here i'm gonna put him like rotation um but we got both into the club which is great um that's gonna be the first signing i think i'm gonna get um, I really kind of want to pick up Gavi, but I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to get... I think it's bald. I'm pretty sure it's bald. I'm going to call him Alejandro. Please don't click off because I have zero ball knowledge. I'm at a crossroads here because I want to bring in um, Gavi, but let's see if we can get it for 25000 Save a little bit of bread. Yes, beautiful. Um, I want to bring him in. He's an 80 overall and he's like 18, which means he'll be like an 85. But if we're only going to have two center mids, I kind of want to get like... 
I really want to get De Bruyne off Man City really bad. I would like to get in Holland and De Bruyne, but it's really, really hard to know because I mean, look, look, look at my, look at my boy, look at Pablo. I mean, he's just so good. He just winds up being so good. And and for forty seven million, I mean, that's kind of a steal for him. Mm, I'm gonna sign him. I'm gonna sign him. I'm gonna sign him. I think I think it's worth even if even if we just like sign and then, and then use him as a a bargaining chip in January or something. I think he's just he's just way too valuable. Let's see if we can get him for just 44 straight up. See what they say. See if they're going to be pissed at me. Pissed? Oh, this is great. This is actually great because I need to get rid of him anyways. So, yeah, I actually like this. What if we give it to you for like 17.5? Thoughts? Thoughts? Vibes? Yes! Yes! This went perfect! Yes, we're going to get rid of him anyways. We all lost 17 million. Beautiful. I Yes, it's normally pretty hard to sell him. Um, so this is great. So we're going to, yes. Okay. That's a big pickup. Okay. So I think that's probably the, this is probably the only guy that we're going to sign important. Sure. Yes. You need an important role. Look at 17 year olds. Could you imagine being like an 80 overall in FIFA at 17? That's insane. Okay. I'll check back in with you guys after we've sold some more players. I'll show you guys who all we're selling and everything after everyone has like updated their position. Cause I think that's really, really interesting. Okay. So these are all of the transfer offers that we have right now. Um, I just got uh, Joe sold out of here. Uh, they initially offered me like 65 or 6.5 million. Um, and then I just asked for eight and they're like, sure. So that's basically my strategy with all of these is I have the assistant manager negotiate for higher than whatever they're initially offering. And then I pop in and negotiate and I just ask for like right here, like they got me a like 4.85. I think if I go seven that they would be like, there's just way too big of a gap. But it's because the numbers are so small. You can go higher as the numbers go higher. But if I ask like 6.5, they'll either be really upset or they'll say yes. There's like a fine line in FIFA that the like the like the back end codes like yeah that'll work. So let's see here, see what they say. They they might be pissed, but I think they're gonna be like yeah. There we go. Yeah, there's an extra 1.8 million dollars. Sure, yeah, sure. It's just so free. Like it's it's such an easy way to make more money. It's just like just pop in. Just be like hey, what about this? And most of them they're like yeah for sure. So we we just made a bunch more money on both of these transfers. I think you combined like four million. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but that is like the wages of a player. You know what I mean? So like it's the difference of being able to sign someone or not sign somebody. So that's what we have going on in terms of like deals and stuff. Um, nothing to this is super sad. They that's sad that that Atletico. Dang, we really need to get rid. It's kind of hard to get rid of some of the guys. Um, I've tried. I've attempted to do this before, but I had a different setup. So I'm like redoing my thing. Okay, so this is actually a pretty big deal. So he's worth 24 million, and they're they're trying to. I don't want another center mid. Okay, so I want you guys to just give me 35 million. Just give me the money. Just give me the money. But yeah, I mean, we don't have any like really big transfers going on right now. Um, but if we have any big transfers, I'll pop back in and show you guys who's on the uh, the chopping block. Right. So all of our players that were like on two weeks, which um, basically means like hopefully that they would be better in a different position are ready to be position changed. Um, so we'll see how their overall changes. Hopefully we have a lot of money sitting uh, in the club that we didn't know about. Like right here, he's a 76 overall. And then he goes up to a 78, which we love to see. Uh, Abby'd absolutely love to see that. So like, for example, if we went and looked at him, if we looked at his financial, like his market value literally almost doubled. So up 82% for it to double, it would have been a hundred percent. So like now he's worth way more money. So I kind of messed up on a couple of people. Like I thought that these three would go up in overall and they didn't. So Ben Davies was a center back. Now he's a CDM um, and his value didn't go up, but I moved uh, Winks and uh, Rodrigo to <laughs> CDMs and their overall market value actually went down. So I'm gonna like run it back and make them back in their original position same with this guy everyone that i made a cdm just like got considerably less valuable but i thought that they would go up in overall which would make them more valuable but that was not the case this guy got worse i had him at a cam um and then i made him a sitter mid because i thought that he would get better but he did not he got nine percent less valuable so <laughs> we don't need that uh this guy went up 27 percent overall this guy went up 82 percent overall this guy went up 28 percent overall in in terms of market value which is electric so gonna start selling everybody and hopefully get enough money to get the players that we really, 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 really want, which is like Holland and De Bruyne. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm gonna sell players and let you guys know whenever like any important transfers go through. All right, we finally did it. We, we hit a big fish. 
you'll see him walking out right now for a price of 70 million dollars we needed a big fish to hit and i think we got a pretty good price yeah we got an a the best possible deal i could have gotten was 80 million but um i wanted to so man city was negotiating with us as well i don't want any good players to go to any of the teams that i'm trying to make worse so um sending him to juventus was obviously the best case scenario so now i have 260 million dollars worth the budget to bring in the big dog come here holland holland's already gone up one overall they're asking prices 259 million but you could probably get it him for 207 million at 800,000 dollars let's go in with a big offer 200 million off the rip come on baby talk to me okay they want 236 what if we add a ginormous sell-on clause 25 percent right new transfer fee 205 million thoughts vibes thoughts here yes bang Bang! The sell-on fee doesn't matter because we're never selling him. He's not going anywhere. Are you kidding me? Yes! Holland is in! Yes! Oh, oh yeah. If you thought this was going to be realistic, bro, like, come on. It's FIFA. There's no realism. What, 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 we want a 10-year career sim? We're getting Holland. We're getting all the dogs. And we're going to win the Prem. Let's go, baby. Um, How is my price rating? An A! Nice. I could have got it for 194. Um, But yeah. Perfect. Okay, so Holland is in on the team. So let's 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 take a look at the team as it sits. This guy's gonna be a great backup for us. An 82 overall backup is nothing to shake your fist at, especially whenever we have two strikers. So um Harry Kane and Holland. I'm gonna put Holland here, actually, because okay, I just feel like it looks better for him to be on the left. Yeah, he's left footed, so that would make way more sense, right? For him to dribble to the left. Would it make more sense for him to be on the right so we can cut back in? I feel like it makes more sense for him to be on the right. Now we need to bring in a right wing. We need a center back, we need a goalkeeper. This guy's good at right back. So we need a center mid, center back, goalkeeper, and right wing. In terms of center backs, like we have a lot of options. So if, if we go here to, to center backs, I mean, we really do have a lot of, like, I mean, we could steal Gabriel. I mean, dude, they're wanting 49 million for him. That's kind of a lot. I mean, these guys are all just like incredibly expensive. I mean, Diaz is just not worth. 140 million i'll be honest with you we have 84 million dollars right and i want jude bellingham right i want jude but how could i hurt other teams in the prem in the process of getting jude i think i could probably come in here and snag bernardo silva or maybe even phil foden and then use them as a bargaining piece to get Jude. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I, I think that KDB is out of the realm of possibility at 132 million. But I think that I think that Bernardo Silva is right where we need him to be. So let's see if we can get in here and do this player swap that we were going to do for Jude. And instead, let's hit it for Bernardo. Okay, so transfer fee. Let's see if they'll hit us with... Let's give him 60 right and then let's add that sell-on clause that we like let's add that 25 percent sell-on clause i'm not sure how much that helps but hopefully they accept this come on baby they want 75 they want 75 instead of the the sell-on clause which makes sense um let's do um okay they said they're not interested in the sell-on clause because he's 28 which is fine so let's do let's see if we can get him at 67.5 are we gonna meet here Brother, come on, man. What about 70? I know you'll take 70. I know it. Come on. Give me 70. Yes, sir. Yes. Bang. Bernardo Silva's in to the team, which is phenomenal. We needed that. So now we have made Man City weaker, which was quite important. Um, we, we moved our cam. I don't even know if they use a cam. If they do use a cam, I know for sure that they're not going to be using our guy. They just use KDB. Um... But whatever, even if they do, he's an 82 overall. Who cares? This guy wants a he wants $175,000. Sure. With the $1.7 million signing bonus. Sure. But an appearance at 15 at 2.75 million, which is fine because we're about to flip him so fast. So um, let's see if we can get rid of that signing bonus. Let's let's remove this signing bonus right quick because we need that money. All right. And then let's edit this bonus. And let's make this five. What do you think about that, Mr. Silva? Five million? <laughs> He's never, he's not gonna make it to one appearance. That brother's gone.
Imagine I'm not able to like flip him like that. I, I'm pretty sure I've been able to do this in the past, but I could get really embarrassed right here. Uh, this would be really bad if I brought him in and I'm going to give him the super max for playing in 15 games. He's going to be sitting on the bench. Okay, excellent deal. Love that for me. Um, okay, now let's go get who we want, which is Jude, you beautiful young man. All right, here we go. Uh, player swap, midfielders, Bernardo. Submit. I'm sure this is a great deal for both teams. Yes, I love whatever stuff works out. I'm sure this deal, that's whenever whenever they think they're fleecing you is whenever they say, I'm sure this deal fits both teams. Guess what, buddy? In about a month, the Jude's going to be like 90 overall. So it it certainly does suit me. He's from $45,000, bro. Oh my goodness. We just got Jude for Nish. I love this for us. He wants 67, dude. He thinks he's scoring 15 goals this year. Jude, honestly, I think that you deserve it, but I mean, it just doesn't make sense for us to give you that bonus, to be honest with you. Like, it really doesn't. Yeah, like, I love you, but but you'll sign anyways, because for whatever reason, since you're 19, you don't think that you're worth the Supermax. Um, but just so you know, you are Young King. You're, you're worth the Supermax. We're just going to go ahead and skip and play this match, and we're going to beat Man United, hopefully. Um, please, please, Holland. Please, Holland. Do... Oh, they had they had some big. Okay, they had a big signing at striker. All right, let me let's go and look at the transfers and see transfer history and see like what teams I brought in who. Um, we brought in Jude. Love that for us. I just want to see if any really good teams have brought anyone in um, that'll make life way worse for us. PSG gets Hernandez. Martinez goes to Real Madrid. Normally he goes to Manchester United. Thank God he didn't. Retzko goes to. Okay, is it awesome him? Awesome. Osim I don't even know. Osman. Uh, he goes to Man U. He's an 84. Victor is quite talented, it seems. Okay. No one no one else is like gonna really move the needle. But Manchester United's got much better. So we're literally about to play them. So I guess we'll just we'll find out right now how, how this is gonna go. Uh please, fellas, please hold it down. I think we're gonna score four goals. I'll take a two-two draw. Holland scores and Harry scores. I'll take I'll take goals from the boys. That's exactly hey. I thought that that was what they were gonna do. You know they get it done. I will check back in with you guys um, after uh, a couple more transfers go through. I'll probably pop back in just to sim the next game with you guys. Uh, but I'm gonna try to try to get us to to January as fast as possible. Sun is apparently on the choppy block because Bayern Munich is knocking at the door, so they're offering 112 million. Um, so I'm so the maximum price they're saying is 145. So I'm just gonna ask for 145, and if they say yes, they say yes. If they don't say yes, like that's firm. I will accept 145. I will accept maximum value for Sun. Um, because I think that we can make some stuff happen. I do really like Sun on the team, to be honest. I think that he is phenomenal. Um, but if we get rid of Sun, I think that we have a lot more options in terms of like our setup. Like we don't need to do a 4-2-4 if we get rid of Sun. Let's keep simming. We have this Fulham game, so we needed we needed to play this game anyways. Um, I think that we should world star them. I'm praying that we world star them. Please, four goals. <laughs> Hollow with the hat trick. Harry K with one. Harry got himself one. That's all we needed. Holland is a demigod in the video game, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this rebuild's going real well. I love that for us. We really needed that. Um, yeah, Holland is him. We already knew that, though. So we have a $33 million deal on the line here. Um, so let's jump in here and let's see if we can get like 36, 37. Because I really do want to get rid of him. But I don't want to. I don't want to undersell him. Yes. Bang. 37. We needed that. We needed a quick 37 because um, we have like four left backs and none of them are playing right now. We have, just have so many left backs. We need a center back. Real, real, real bad. And I would like to get Ruben Diaz, Scarlet transfer offer. Um, Barcelona, Arsenal's buying them. Oh, Arsenal. I, I, I don't, I'm not really worried about Arsenal. Um, I probably should check the standings because I bet Arsenal's probably. Yeah, Arsenal's in sixth. West Ham, where's Man City? Okay, Man City's already got a draw. I need to see Liverpool with the loss, bro. Liverpool is terrifying. Yeah, they're already 2-0. Liverpool's really good in this game, and so is Man City. But, I mean, they had Holland, so. All right, so they're offering $112 million. We're going to negotiate. We're going to ask for, what was it, 140, 149? Let's ask for 100. Let's ask for 145. I feel like that's, that's appropriate. If they say no, like, whatever. Yeah. Nah, bro. Like 100, 145 is where we're at. We want 145 for him. 
That's it. Either accept it or get out. Oh. Oh. He's saying 136. Now that's quite interesting. Look, I'll be a team player. I'll go to 142. And we'll we'll take Suns. We'll take Suns money and we'll we'll go get somebody. They took it. They, they just paid 142 million for Suns. I had no intention of getting rid of him. But I mean 142 million? Oh, we we got some play money now. Oh, we've got some play money now. Oh, yes. Okay. We do lose Sun. What is, what has Sun done for us so far in the year? He's done absolutely nothing. Holland has scored 4 and Harry Kane scored 2 and given and given up an assist. So, any anyone else with an assist? He's got an assist. Jude's got an assist. I love you, Jude. You're the best. Yeah, so we're fine. We're fine to get rid of him. Skip and play match. Let's sim this one again. Sun's last game in the Spurs uniform. We lose. Hello? That's why we're rebuilding. I can't believe we, we're starting off 1-1-1. One, one, and one. That is not good. Sun sold, and we have $127.5 million to play with now. Sad to see Sun go, but very excited to see $164 million sitting in our account. Perisic, you're not going to be playing there, buddy. I'm going to be so honest with you. Now, what we could do is move Danuma to left wing. I think that he could fill the void temporarily while we take care of other positions because we have a lot of attacking power. And, like, since these guys are both on loan, there's not a whole lot we can really do with them. Like, I don't know if they're on loan to buy, but see, he could play left wing seamlessly. Just switch on over. I like that for him. I, I, th I think he's going to be good there. I, I think that we could just use our... Wait, what's the settle the buy option? 46 mil. 51 mil. They, look, I get it. I get it, but like, not right now. Let's let's get all this set up. Okay, so yeah, you're going to go to left wing. We need to sell you stat while you're still in 83. Gavi and Jude are doing their things, getting better at the whole soccer thing. We need a center back and we need a goalkeeper stat. Our right back is good. Bald's doing horribly. I mean, you... Okay. We are, we're probably going to have to get another left back too, so... All right, let's go get a center back and let's get a goalkeeper. So let's go and get Allison. I think it's smarter to get Ederson, but I, I know that Allison is, is a better pickup for the sim. Player swap. Let's see if we can get rid of anyone that we don't need. Yeah, sure. Perisic. And then transfer fee. Let's, let's see if we can offer him. See if we can give him 80 in Perisic and see if they'll take it. Thoughts? Okay, they don't want Perisic. Who else could I give you? Anyone else that you just don't really, uh, you, you know? What about Emerson? You know, 17 million. Let me give you, let me give you, let me give you a quick, let me give you a quick 85. Thoughts and Emerson. Okay. They want 86. Fine. I don't care. Sure. I'm, I wasn't going to be able to sell him anyways. So I'm super happy to, to get him off the payroll and to get Allison in here. This is beautiful. Okay, bet. So then we're going to be able to get rid of Loris because for whatever reason, like he won't normally get offers unless there's like a goalkeeper in front of him that's better. So here we go. Okay, we got Allison in here. Um, don't really care for the release clause. Whatever. That's fine. Just ask for like 150. 150. 150. I'm going to offer him 150. Please don't get mad at me. Uh, is it worth? Don't get mad at me. 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 Okay. All right. Let's get rid of the clean sheet bonus. Thoughts? All right, I'll take 155. That's fine. That's fine. As long as he's not hella expensive. Beautiful. Allison, I love you. You're going to be huge for us. Huge. We needed that real bad because Liverpool is such an issue. Okay, so now let's get Allison in here. Reese, you can come into here. I think I just sold him. Benton Kerr, hopefully I'm saying his name right. I know I'm not, is very valuable. I need to, okay, I need to flip him for somebody. But I don't want to give him to a, a Premier League team because I know he's usable. So what can I do here? We have 72 million. We need a center back. Do I want to get Diaz? Uh, I don't think I want Ruben Diaz. Mendy is also really interesting. I think we bring Mendy in now. Let's bring Mendy in. Let's get rid of Bald and bring in Mendy. Let's offer them Bald and 40 or 35. Well, 35 piece. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about 46, but I'll take 40. 
40 is fine. Sure. 41. Bro, are you really going to do this over 1.7 million? How about 40.5? Bro, you guys are there. It's not even it's quite literally not worth my IRL time. Like like my like real life time. It's not like, <laughs> many's into the team, which I think is a big upgrade at left back. I think that he's really, really talented, really, really good. Um which is awesome for us. A C deal. Yeah, I think I overpaid for sure. Um but whatever, it really doesn't matter that much. Um probably could have kept bald and then just sold him, but we have Mendy in, which is so good. Um, so now we just need a center back and our team is looking really good. Um, if we get a pretty solid center back, but I need some more passing out of our wings. Um, so I might, uh, it stinks cause they're on loan. So I can't really like flip them. So we have 25 million to get a center back, but I still have Benton cure. We have so many people that can be sold. So I don't, I don't want to do any more player trades type situation. Um, but I think we might have to, cause there's only 10 hours left. So it's like basically 10 days. Do we just go into this year without having a solid center back? I don't think that's the play. One, Kunde? He's 5'11". He's 6'1". He's fast. He looks to be more well-rounded. And he's a little cheaper. So they want 72 million. How much do we have? We have 25. Let's see what we can do here with the little midfielder action. This guy's worth 43? Hmm. All right. Let's offer them 20 mil on top of this. See if they take it. Please, 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 please. 50 as well are you guys good you guys are you you guys are high there's literally no way 50 they're actually high okay whatever we're just gonna have to hope to some more players sell they're they're actually high whenever we get if we get desperate like last hour yes yes oliver's gonna get sold to lazio yes please beautiful two million and who we just sold you him do <laughs> we just <laughs> That is so funny. Okay, uh, no, yeah, no chance. You guys are crazy. That's actually so funny. We literally just sold them that guy that they're trying to sell back to me. Like, no, dude, you guys are crazy. You're just giving me my player back. Skip, yes, they're willing to pay 24 million. Sure, let's negotiate. Let's see if we get this up to 27.5. Oh, baby, talk to me. What do you guys think about 27.5? I want nothing to do with that. Counter. Remove exchange player. 27.5. What about just 27? Bro, I do not want Sanchez. 26.5. 23.6? No, this isn't even where... This isn't even where you guys were at. Uh, just 26. Just straight up 26. Are you guys seeing this? 25.9. They won't just accept 26. Sure. Okay. Come on. Quickly sell. Quickly sell. 32. Yes, King. Yes, Dormit. Thank you. Okay. Okay. How much? Okay. They aren't saying how much he's worth. Let's delegate. No way we're hitting him for 40. Let's ask for 38. That's going to be way too much. Ah. Uh, I'm a little nervous about that offer. We just need it to go by fast. I, I need to I need to get it all done as fast as possible. I should have just went in there and negotiated with it myself. That's what I should have done to speed it up. Ah, uh, I'm an idiot. That's okay. Hopefully they get back to me immediately. Aston Villa. All right, I'm gonna go in here and negotiate. I'm just gonna get this one done as fast as I can. I just want I want 27.5. I want 27.5 here. Here we go. Bang. Yes. Just say yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Love you. Love you so much. I wish that I could go in here and negotiate with them, but I don't think that deal is going to get done in general, which is fine. Oh, we just need this deal. Please, 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 please. Just let two deals go through. Just let two deals go through. Please let two people walk. That's good. He was the second guy. Yes. Perfect. Please show the other one. Pop up. Please pop up the other one. Dang it. Oh, wait. No, no. We already got it. Okay. 73 million. Okay, we have 73 million. A lot of stuff's going down right now. This is so fun. Um, okay, so we have 73 million. We need a center back really badly. Uh, getting rid of getting Ruben Diaz would be big, but we really just need Virgil. All right, let's let's buy Virgil. Okay, we have 70 million. So let's let's put out um What do you guys think about a little Hugo Lloris? 
I know that you guys actually I'm not even think I don't even want to give them Hugo Lloris because I bet that they don't have anyone that can but if we give you this guy and we offer y'all 63 million <laughs> they're out of their minds are you guys good Dude, the exchange play, dude, they want 90 million. Yo, we were selling this guy for 69. So they want like a hundred. Dude, they're they're actually out of their minds. What if we just offer you guys 73 million? They want 78. Okay. So let's put a player swap in. We have anyone that like we really don't care about. <gasps> this guy. Yes. This guy. So 26 there. New transfer fee. Why don't we get us down to like 55? This isn't going to work. It's not going to work. We're not going to be able to get Virgil. Okay. Um, can we get Jules? They want 75. Do we think that we can get a hold of him here at 75? Maybe? Hopefully? Transfer fee? They want to, okay, they want 75 for him. Hit him at 60 here. Bang. Add sell on clause. 25%. I don't care. And then give us this, brother. Wait, so let's put him at 50. Yes, that should that should work. This should work. Come on! Yes! Yes! Uh, thank you, Gobby. Oh god, that's not Gobby. That's that's Hobby. Oh no, I'm an idiot. Oh no, I'm gonna get cooked. Our team is basically put together for the first half of the year. Now things will probably change, but we've made a lot of really, 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 really good additions to the team. It is much different than I thought it was going to look, but it doesn't look bad by any means. Um, this 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 is what we're looking like. Okay, so we need stronger we need stronger wingers for sure. Um, but our midfield is good and it's young and it's going to get way better. Um, and then we can sell them in the second half of the year to just get better talent. Um, which I think is really smart and a good use of money to invest early in the year and then sell them in the second half of the year. And then our defense is relatively strong with a lot of room for growth. Um, I, th I think, I think that we're a really well-rounded team and our subs are pretty solid as well. Um, and then throughout the year, we'll be able to sell more people and then, um, buy even better players so we officially made it to january we did it so this is what the team is looking like i mean they've been playing quite well um i'm quite proud of them let's look at the stats really quickly before we go and look at how the team is doing um you can see we have four clean sheets which isn't the best uh but mindy has uh two assists and a goal um if you guys want to pause and look at any specific player that i don't highlight feel free um Jude, um, playing well, but only two goals and four assists, but he's doing a lot for the team. Um, for whatever reason, Pablo was not getting to play. Um, so I had to like manually start like quick simming the games to make sure that he was playing because they were playing this guy over our stud child. Like, I just don't understand it, but whatever. Um, so then this guy's hooping. Dan Yuma is going crazy. This guy's playing a height, uh, but like, I mean, not everyone, you know what I mean, can be doing what this guy's doing. Holland hooping as well. And then Harry Kane is scoring a ton of goals. Um, so it's really cool to see the boys going crazy. We're scoring a ton of goals and that is translating to us being in third place and not too far back. We're actually a game under, so we have a game to be played, um, which means that we could be in second place if we win that. We beat Manchester City, which was awesome, um, but I believe that we have um, pretty close. Yeah, we're, we're, we're really close to the highest goal difference in the league. We have the second least allowed goals, uh, which is cool because we're in a 4-2-4, um, so you wouldn't expect us to have so few goals allowed, uh, but our defense is really, 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 really good. I'm trying to think about how we could upgrade it, but I have a very specific upgrade in mind because if you see Manchester City is killing everyone, but there is one very specific reason why he is killing everyone. And if you look over here or why they're killing everyone, and if you look over here, I can show you Phil Foden is going absolutely insane. He has a player rating of, of eight on average. Um, which is, I believe, the highest in the league if, as we go through here. Uh, Raheem Sterling is playing well as well. Ch Chelsea has been playing super well, but I mean, 77 is still not 80. Um, Aston Villa playing well as well. Ollie Watkins, good for you, buddy. Saka doing his thing as well. 
Um, so, all right, so it looks like we need to try to get Sokka and um, let's see how we're doing. Yeah, so we're we're a more well-rounded team, uh, but it's looking like Sokka and Foden. Callum Wil uh, Wilson cooking, but he's only played in two games, so that doesn't really count. So, so Foden and Sokka are our two main targets, which makes sense because those are really the two places that we, we just kind of have like lone players there. So um, I think that we can get much better in that position, but we only have 86 million right now. Now we do have this guy um, who is worth quite a lot of money. We, we have a lot of players on our bench. We have so many people that have yet to be liquidated that it's almost frustrating. Um, like this guy, for example, like, like let, let's go through um, people who are, who are valuable um, that, that we're trying to sell. This guy, 50 million right off the bat. We're trying to sell him. Please let us sell you. He doesn't want to let us sell him, which is a problem. This guy, I, I don't even think I can sell him yet. I just add the loan list. So I'm going to have to like by hand, like attempt to sell him, um, which I think wouldn't be that that big of a deal. This guy hasn't sold yet. Uh, I don't know why this guy hasn't sold yet. Like just nobody's selling, which is fine. But we do have this Manchester United game. So I'm going to quick sim this just so you guys can see that. And then I will go to work trying to get us Foden and Saka on the team. Yes! Kane is scoring! It's my dog. We are scoring goals in bunches this year. Harry Kane's cooking, bro. So I'm going to make some moves and I'll update you guys as the moves happen. All right, I'm just going to try to get Foden. I'm calling him into a meeting right now. Apparently, 100 million will get him. His market value is 84. So I'm trying to think about people that I could use to, to get him. I mean, obviously, I'm not using either of them. I think that this would be really, really good. If we try to use Destiny here... Um, cause he, he is a high value player. I feel like if we offered them a solid, like 70 million, that maybe we could get this done. 70, they want 72. Yes. Yeah, baby. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. All right. We got Foden who is like killing everyone. I think that now we just have one more target, which is Sokka. Um, it stinks that, that our like left winger and right winger are lone players like i i don't really know what to do about that but i'm sure i'll figure it out yes foden get in there my king uh daniel is probably going to be pissed about that but the good news is, is that we have really solid substitutes now like that's that's what's important here is that our subs are really really solid so like he's going to be able to come in and do a whole lot to make the team better which is awesome for us i wish that he was not a lone player though that would be quite convenient if he was like our guy. Um, but I'm not going to buy him outright. This just doesn't really make sense. Um, okay, now from here, we have like no money now. Um, we have $10 million. How much is Sokka going for? Let's take a look here. Sokka, the, they want, ooh, 84 million. Why would they accept 84 million for him? That seems real good for us. Okay, so if we can get 84 million, I mean, dude, if we look at like player stats as everyone's shaping up like i mean Sokka has the most goals in the league i just got foden who had this the tied for the second most goals in the league so if we can get Sokka onto the team then like we kind of just take away the goal scoring from like the two other best teams in the league which i think is a great and i mean great decision um so we just got to figure out who we're gonna sell and how we're gonna get that done but i don't really care about this but i'm gonna quick sim just so foden could get a rep in uh, we really want Foden to get into the, the team as quickly as possible. Yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't care about us doing well in the FA Cup at all. All I care about is Spurs winning the Prem. Like, getting Harry Kane this dub and Spurs winning the Premier League. All right, we have $97 million, um, which means that we can try to get Sokka to fill in this right wing role. I don't know if it's a poor choice. Uh, let me... Mm. Sokka might be like the best player in the league right now. I mean, yeah, Arsenal is in second. So I think that going and getting Sokka is like a really good call. Like just so he's not on Arsenal anymore. So we have 97 million. So let's go get Sokka. And I mean, dude, they only want 83 for him. We might be, just be able to buy him straight up. But let's see if we can player swap out this fullback. So let's see if we can give him like 70 in him. They want 84 in him. So what if we did like, I mean, this is actually insane. We did like 70, 7, 77, 5. 77, 5 for Sokka, the best player in the Prem right now. Sure. And my, and my left back. Sure. So we basically have the entire team. Um, this is what we look like. We have Foden on the left, Harry Kane, Holland, Sokka, um, 
Gavi, Bellingham, Romero, Porro, uh, Kwonde, God, I hope I'm saying his name right, uh, Mendy, Allison, and then our two left and right wingers from before. I brought in Sergio Ramos uh, to be our backup center back. Lloris is still here. I don't know if he's ever going to sell, but it is what it is. And then I need another center mid, and I'm, I'm trying to find a center mid for like $7 million. I don't know if I'm going to find him. Uh, but I'm trying to find a center mid that you just like pop in and, and make some minor appearances for us whenever we need. But this is the team. And we have a game against Liverpool who is doing horribly, who normally is very, 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 very good if you do any career mode simming. They are in like 10th, I think. So since we have taken uh, Allison from them, um, it has not been going. It's not been looking good for Liverpool. So let's see how the boys do here in a quick sim. Please just give us like six goals. Make it like 6-1. Make it ugly. Come on, make it ugly. <clears throat> I'll take one now. Um, I do want to see who um, who Liverpool is using uh, as their goalkeeper since we took Allison, because I think that that's why they're doing so badly. I, I, I want to see here um, what, what place they're actually in. Um, we're in third now. Um, literally one point off from first. Uh, it's looking good for the boys. It's looking good. We still get to play Man City and Arsenal again. So all we have to do is beat them. And so we're definitely in the race, which is awesome. Uh, but Liverpool is in ninth and they have nine losses. Yeah. I'm going to, basically the team's not going to change a lot. We have like 10 million. So I'm going to sign like some subs and then we're going to sim until the final game, which who do we play? Who is our last game? Dude, it'd be so cool if it was like Man City. So our last game is Aston Villa, which like, they're not in title contention, so not that exciting. But um, we're going to play against Aston Villa. And so I will sim up to Aston Villa. And then we will go in and quick sim the game. Like, like watch the sim of the game, right? And then I'm not going to tell you guys, like, where we're at in the standings at all. And then we'll just pop in at the end and, like, watch the whistle get blown. And then whether or not we win the league, you'll see from the celebration or whatever. So um, I'll see you guys then. And uh, I'm so excited for this. This is insane. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We are popping into the sim um, to see what's going to happen here. All right, Aston Villa is in the black and Spurs are in the white. And we already have number 13. Oh, my goodness. June with an easy goal. Oh, my gosh. The boys are buzzing already. So I haven't, I haven't really gotten to play with the team at all. Like, because obviously you would adjust like the the outcome of the series so like um i'd be lying if i said that i didn't Ooh, they almost scored if i didn't like play one like save play dude there's no way we're getting scored on while i'm trying to explain okay well one one um whatever okay just just gotta win you know what i mean just gotta win no pressure just gotta win um no spoilers though um so I did play like save, play a game, and then go back to the save before I had played the game because I wanted to play with the boys because, I mean, the team is absolutely insane if you look at it on paper. Like, this has been such a fun rebuild. Um, hopefully, we can close it out here and do what we came to do. Holland! Great pass, Holland! Foden with a big goal! 2-1! Come on, baby! Yes! All right, let's look at the ratings right quick. Foden, looking good. The boys are just... I mean, we have 80% possession. Um, no way. Harold, talk to him, baby. Talk to him, Harold. Yes. Harry's too good. Harry's just too good. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I guess whenever you get a team. So, like, I've, I've had some later sims um, where, like, I guess, like, every team is just super stacked because, like, the like the progression gets kind of weird whenever you get late into the the career sims um, to where all the teams are good. But whenever you build a super team like this really early on in FIFA, like, you just kind of world star teams, I guess. I, this is the first time I've watched a sim, but to be up 3-1 in the 42nd minute is crazy for a sim. Um, like, yeah, what, I mean, what do we have in terms of... I mean, I guess we only have 64% of possession, but... Um, oh, Holland's got to go score right there. I mean, yeah, three goals from the three all-stars. Gosh, this is so cool. All right, let's continue. Um, let's keep it pushing. I don't know if we should make any subs. Um, I guess I should show you guys the team really quickly. Um, I brought on Henderson on loan. Um, and then this kid on loan as well. And then I bought Sergio Ramos, uh, to be our sub. Um, and then the, the boys, um... 
I mean, you can just see that they've all gotten so much better um, really, really quickly, which is electric. I mean, our team is insane for year one. Um, all right, let's keep pushing. Um, Aston Villa is the, the team in the black, by the way, just for a reminder. Three, two, are we good? All right, I got a little, I got a little bit relaxed. Not that it matters if we win or lose, you know what I mean? At all. Um, but it would be real convenient if we didn't give up another goal or if we scored right here. Um, okay. So, wait. Who's four? Who's playing with it? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Give it to Foden and then just pass it into the box. Cook. Come on, Harry. Just give Holland the ball. We know how we win games around here. Give Erling Holland the ball. Harry, uh, Harry, Harry might win his first Premier League trophy today. Phil Foden now three. Mendy's moving. I, I don't know. I wait. Holland, Holland, Holland's the goat. All right, I gotta make sure I jump in, guys, as the game is ending, so we can get like the end result for you guys. If you're if you're right here right now with me. And you guys think we won, leave a W in the comment. If you think that we have no chance of winning the Premier League, use an L in the comment. Um, I mean, our team's insane, so I don't know why you guys would think that we didn't have a chance, but 85th minute. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Let's score on this corner. Let's put it away. Let's put it away, baby. Come on. Yes, Holland. Yes. 5-2. Talk to me, baby. Yes. Come on, dude. We're insane. We've scored so many goals this year. All right, I'm jumping in. 89th minute. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna touch the controller. If they score, they score. It don't matter. It don't matter. What's gonna happen here? What's gonna happen here? We did it! We did it, baby! We did it! We did it! We got Harry the Premier League trophy! God, I can't wait for him to walk up there and pick it up. Oh, this was such a fun rebuild. Holy cow. After after the game, after we watch Harry pick it up, I'll show you guys all the stats and everything. Come on, baby! Crowd's bugged, but it's okay. Yes! Yeah, Harry, oh my gosh, yeah! Woo! Harry, yeah! Let's get out of here and let's go and look at um, the stats for the boys on the year. Let's see just how dominant we were um, with the team. So this, again, was the final squad. Um, I mean, there's youth on this team. Like, we could, we could keep going if we wanted to. I mean, 22, Harry's only 29, Holland is 22. Saka is 21, uh, Gabi's 18, Jude is 19, um, Gunde is 24, Mendy is 27, uh, Romero's 25, Poro is 23, and Allison is 30. He's the oldest player on the team other than some of the subs. I mean, we're so good and we could be good for a long, long, long time. So with that said, let's go and take a look at the squad hub and see the stats for everyone. Uh, Allison had 10 clean seats this year and also three assists, which is insane. Like three assists is like crazy to have, right? Like as a goalkeeper, um, Mendy had two, two goals, three assists, uh, Romero, two goals, uh, Poro with two assists. Gabi, uh, started scoring a lot later in the year. Um, but yeah, he had five goals and six assists. Jude, five goals, eight assists. Henderson. I don't know if Henderson actually did anything for us, but shouts out for being here, buddy. Foden with 23 goals on 45 appearances. Uh, Dan Yuma with nine goals and five assists. Um, Saka, 32 goals. Oh, my gosh. So, whenever he moved over here, he had 22. Um, so, I think he scored, like, eight goals in his last, like, I think it was his last 14 games. He still scored eight goals. So, like, he was cooking whenever he got over here, too. So, I'm so glad that we picked him up. Um, we picked up Foden and, and Saka. They were great pickups. Uh, Holland with 28 goals and 38 appearances, or in 43 appearances, and Kane, 28 goals and 43 appearances. As a team, we scored 88 goals 
Oh my goodness, 88 goals is insane. That is so many goals. Um, we had the highest goal difference in the league. If you remember, we were really far behind Man City in terms of goal difference, and then we just started scoring like crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, we ran away with it by the end. The seven point difference. Um, we actually drew against Man City. It was a huge game, um, and no one scored. It was 0-0 by the end, which is crazy because we scored so many goals. This is what our team looked like in comparison. Um, by the end, I mean, the boys are just going crazy. Uh, I mean, so many goals. <laughs> so many goals. Um, in terms of assists, we didn't have anyone. Harry Kane up there with eight assists. Look at Harold. Love that for you, King. Um, in clean sheets, we were fifth, um, which is nothing to shake your fist at. But, um, yeah, I think, I think that, that we accomplished what we set out to accomplish. Uh, the challenge is absolutely phenomenal. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'm sure that you would enjoy this Pele video here.